hope all is well. Hope you all are having a great day today. I am so sorry that I cannot do our virtual learning today. But as I promised, I said I was going to send you all a fun, engaging activity to do at home with mommy and daddy. As I mentioned before in some my last videos about the sidewalk chalk, um, if you all are not comfortable with going to the stores to purchase it, you can always order it off of Amazon right now. I've ordered some more sidewalk chalk from Amazon. I also ordered some sentence strips. They have a lot of fun, engaging things that you all can use at home from Amazon while we're quarantining right now. So today I want to discuss with you all more and less. We have discussed more and less since the beginning of the school year, pretty much. More or less helps you out a lot when it comes to math. We have more or less when we graph, more or less when we sort objects, more or less when we do addition and subtraction. And since we are leveling up for pre-K, we're going to do an activity discussing addition and subtraction with more and less. Let's check it out. As you see, I have wrote out a little fun chart on the concrete that you and mommy and daddy could do outside. So it says more and less. Let's talk about more, the word more. More, as I said before on our number line, we go up. We go up, we get greater and greater. The numbers get larger and larger. So with more, all you're doing is adding one more to make it more than what you've had before. Let's say, for example, we have three counters. One, two, three. We wanna show one more than those three counters. Show one more. We have one, two, three, four. Four is more than three. What did we just do? We added one more so we can have more. So instead of having three counters, we have four. Okay, guys, you all could do a fun activity at home, discussing more, having some counters, pencils, crayons, pennies, anything that you can find around the house to use to count with. Practice that with your children. Boys and girls, practice that at home with mommy and daddy. Having three, four, five objects and adding one more to sh give you an understanding on what more means. More is great. It's always going to be larger. You're going to get a greater number than the number that you have before. Let's move on over to less. Less. Show one less. So let's see, we have three counters right here. One, two, three. Show one less. What is less than three? We're going backwards on the number line. Like I said, when we subtract and when we go, when it's something is less, we're going backwards. We're taking it away. So we took one away. We showing one less. And now we have only two counters. Two is less then three. Another thing with less, you're taking a way. You're taking a way. On a number line, you're taking away. This is called the subtraction symbol. This is addition. This is subtraction. Subtraction, you are taking a way. Have four counters. Take one away. How many do I have? Three. Three counters. Take one away. How many do I have? Two. Two counters. Take one away. How many do I have? One. Okay? Less is taking away. Less is little. Less is little. More is larger. Less is little more is larger. So guys, how about you do an activity at home? Send me some pictures of you distinguishing between the word more 
and the word less. Give me some addition problems. Give me some subtraction problems. More and less. Thanks, guys. Hope you have a great day.